Hi everybody, I have some new information in regarding the number 666 as found in the King James Bible, Revelation 13, 18, chapter 13, verse 18. He who has wisdom and understanding, let him count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, his number is 666. Barack Hussein Obama. If you haven't seen the movie Pi, Faith in Chaos by Darren Aronofsky, the, the film was uh, released in the United States on the 10th of July 1998. I suggest you see it. All about the number 216 and that great evil has come upon the earth and chaos, ins the ensuring chaos because of the number 216 and what it represents upon the earth. I'm going to read something from this book as well, just the back blog, a very important statement from a a uh, guy called Malachi Martin. And I'm going to also talk about straight up ANZ Bank launches, the first bank in Australia launches Apple Pay. This is really big news for Australians because Apple Pay, I believe, and I say on this channel, is the mark of the beast. One facet of the biometric mark of the beast system. Now, we haven't had a bank in Australia since the uh, 9th of the 9th, 2014, when Apple Pay launched in America. Well, the iPhone 6 launched on that date, 9th of the 9th, 2014. We haven't had a bank in Australia run with the Apple Pay system, not an Australian bank. American Express ran with it here, but it wasn't very successful. So on the 28th, Thursday, the 28th of April, 2016, ANZ Bank ran with the Apple Pay system. And what is the 28th of uh, April, Thursday, 2016? It is exactly six months and 12 days out from election day. 6, 12, 2, 1, 6. Six months, 12 days out from election day is when they officially launched Apple Pay in Australia. Unbelievable. The name, the number of the beast again, Barack Hussein Obama. Now, if you look at the, uh, go on ANZ YouTube for their official channel, ANZ YouTube channel, you'll see that they have run three, three ads uh, that are showing current, currently in Australia to, to uh, promote promotional ads to promote ANZ Apple Pay system. And one ad shows uh, a guy coming in buying one item. The second ad shows a woman paying for her bill splitting it 10 times because it's such a joy to interact her biometric mark that God gave her in in her being an image made unto God. We're all images uh, made in the image of God, right? According to the King James Bible. And she splits the bill 10 times. And then we have a third ad where a guy comes in and, oh, it's such a joy to use my biometric stamp to uh, interact with this machine, this beast, 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 666 machine in order to facilitate payments buy and sell just like it says in Revelation chapter 13 and we are in the last days and he he pays for a dozen eggs one dozen eggs 12 eggs he pays for each egg individually 12 with an iPhone 6 <laughs> Australia is even marketing the mark of the beast 666 in their marketing in their ads to, to, to promote Apple Pay. 12 eggs, he puts each egg individually through the scanner and clocks off on his biometric stamp on his phone on the iTouch button. Amazing, 216 again, my gosh. And it launches six months and 12 days out from election day here in Australia to election day in America, of course. Now, I just want to read the back of this because I've just done a count on this. I've known about this enthronement ceremony for quite a while, but here we go. The enthronement of the fallen archangel Lucifer was effected within the Roman Catholic citadel on June 29th, 1963. Uh, and this comes from former Jesuit priest. He's passed now. He died in... Uh, 1999, don't quote me on that, I should know when he went, but uh, he has not long been gone from this earth. Jesuit priest, Father Malachi Martin, the enthronement of the fallen angel, fallen archangel Lucifer 
ceremony was effected within the Roman Catholic Citadel on June 29th, 1963. Now, I should have the other video with me, but if anybody's seen Rosemary's Baby, Roman Polanski film, that has a lot of answers as to where we're at now. Okay, the birth of the Antichrist. Well, let's look at the birth of the Antichrist, a mama. Born in 1961 on the fourth day of the eighth month, fourth day of August. Okay, counting to this enthronement of the fallen Archangel Lucifer ceremony, which was held in the Roman Catholic Citadel, according to Jesuit priest Father Malachi Martin. You won't believe this. Just do the count. Count the 480th day twice. 480 days on past Obama's birthday. Birth. Birth. 1961. From the 4th of the 8th. 480 days plus 216 days. And we arrive at the enthronement of the fallen archangel Lucifer in the Roman Catholic citadel. Oh my gosh. If you count the 480th day twice, you'll arrive on the 29th of June exactly. 480 days plus 216 days. And what is that? That's, uh, just bear with me. Six hundred and ninety six days. Phenomenal, eh? They performed a ceremony dedicating the Vatican to the Archangel Lucifer. Four four eight zero forty eight two one six after Obama's birth. I hope you have eyes to see and ears to hear because everything's out there now. Thanks for listening.